everybody in the division. I mean, they was there, and yeah. I, you know, I, I, I wanted to. Like, for me, it's like if I'm in 7-Eleven and somebody disrespect me or my child or my wife, it's going down. I don't care who they are. So that was my mindset. Like it don't matter. I'm, I come off the streets of Baltimore where I had to worry about the police, I had to worry about guns, I had to worry about stick up boys, I had to worry about jealous guys, you know, so you know, I've never been hit with a punch that hurt me as much as those bullets did. So if I can worry about if I can face bullets, I worried about punches. That, that probably was my downfall. I, never worried about a guy. You know, coming from Baltimore, do you, do you feel good about what Tank's doing and everything carry, represented Baltimore? I think um, the record speaks for itself. Yeah. You got a, you got a um, undefeated champion and you say you don't feel good about what they're doing, then there's something wrong with you. Right. Like you must be a hater. So if you ask anybody, you might have to rephrase that question or something. Right, that, I didn't mean for it you know, to. Yeah, yeah. 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 Like anybody you, from you my city right. that says they not proud of that man, they absolute hate it. Yeah. You know, I saw um, Shakur at the, the Raider game yesterday, and that, that's what people want to see is Shakur, Devin against Tank. What, what do you think of those fights, Rock? I mean, I just think they all three highly, highly skilled professionals. Uh, I think I'm... Um, I really need to see Devin at 140. You know, I mean, he may be stronger at 140. Yeah. You know, because you, you have realized that these weight classes make a difference. Now he don't have to soak down to 135. Now the fights might be night and day. You know, they might be night and day now. Andre Berto. Who knows? Who knows if if, if um, Tank will carry his power or get stronger at 140. You know, who knows if Shakur can carry his power to one foot. So, so, this question is, is like, if they fight now, it'll be a new division. Because Devin's not coming back down to 135. So, you really got, if you're talking about the fighters, you got to kind of leave Devin out of it. Because Devin has a new division now. So, um, Tank and Shakur, that would be a beautiful fight. I can see Shakur winning 11 rounds and getting stopped in the 12. Or... I can see Shakur winning all around. But at the same time, Tank is an underrated boxer. Tank got skills. He can really box too. So I can actually see Tank winning the decision. So it's really up in the air for me. I really just need to see them fight. Just, just to get it, just to close on Tank, so, so people don't get it twisted. You know, I wasn't trying to come at, at Javante sideways with, with, with the first question. Do you... You know, back to the Baltimore thing. Um, I feel like he's a little bit like Mike Tyson was, where when you fight him, he's trying to take you to where he's from a little bit. It's a certain um, energy he brings into the ring. He's trying to make you feel kind of the pain of the streets of Baltimore, like Mike would make you feel the pain of the streets of, of uh, Brownsville. So do you feel like he's got that element to him when he gets in the ring? I think that, um... Every fighter tries to impose their will on the other fighter. And I think um, when, you can, when you punch like, like uh, Javante, it's easier with the speed and the boxing skills he had. It's easier to just impose your will because you can do so many different things in there. By the way, Javante and I have a, uh, we share the same birthday. Happy birthday tomorrow. November 7th, Javante. Happy birthday, Chan. So anyway, I think that, um, you know, Javante had a rough, rough life coming up. Right. And I think that that ring is an outlet for him. And I think he does release a lot of that, that pain on his opponent. Uh, and Tyson had a similar upbringing. So I do think, along with imposing your will, they, 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 they try to, you know, impose that pain with that is within them they taking it out on somebody else and i think that they um they, they get a sense of satisfaction and release from from hurting people did you have that when you fought i i don't really feel like i had as much pain 
And I wanted to extend it to just take out on people. My upbringing was a little better than that. But um, I always wanted to impose my, try to impose my will on the next guy. You know, I always feel like it's, it's, it's really, no matter if you can punch, but it's still a chess. It's, and I'm a big chess player. So it's always chess. Gotcha. And lastly, man, is it a, a trip for you at all? You know, make you feel good that guys like you and Fernando Vargas, now it's the juniors, like Hassan Rockman Jr., Fernando Jr., Emiliano, not just you two, but a lot of guys from your era, now their kids are boxing and it's, it's their time. <laughs> it make you, it make you uh, <clears throat> feel, feel old. old. <laughs> it make you feel old. And, uh, you know, when you get when you get my age, you got to look at it like, Man, I'm 51 years old tomorrow. I don't have 51 more years left. So I'm definitely on the downside of, of this thing called life. So I'm just trying to make the most of everything I do and, and move real carefully and make my next move my best move. Mm. And, and we're, we're the, you know lucky to still have you in the sport, helping the young fighters here in the gym and everything. So, Absolutely, I always try to, uh, you know, it's so bad, it's like, if I knew then what I know now, I would be there, so I would be there. So I can't obviously take myself back to 25, 21, but I can give it to the youngsters, you know? When they listen. That's the problem. That's the problem, when they listen. So, um, but it would be it would be a, a, a mistake on my part if I didn't give it to them. So I gotta give it to them, whether they listen or not. I still got to give it to him. I owe it to him. Well, Big Rock, uh, thank you, brother. Uh, always, you know, uh, God bless you and the whole Rockmont family, Junior, Sharif, everyone. And um, happy birthday, brother. Thank you always for your time. My man, appreciate you. Thank you, man.